Well, there's times like this when the world can be a hard and lonely place And it can seem like we'll never turn the tide But times will change and then we'll see a smile back on your face And before you know it, we'll be out the other Well, side. g'day and welcome to another episode of On the Other Side, the podcast that uh, features me, Frankie J. Holden from Tartha Beachside and from Prestige Jaco in Geelong, John Spence. G'day, John. G'day, mate. How are you doing this week? I'm, well, not so good. <laughs> not <laughs> I think everybody's doing good. so good, yeah. which is with, with the recent, uh, you know, the little upsurge in um, coronavirus issues, and particularly in Melbourne, it's very, very uh, sad and severe, of course. Yeah. But that's why this week uh, I've invited along a very special friend of mine, uh, a friend of yours, and a friend of everybody who's watching this show, a guy who's sure to lift our spirits. Uh, the one and only Wilbur Wilde. G'day, Willie. G'day. Oh, 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 John, I'm about lifting your spirits, mate. <laughs> Hi, mate. No. Hi, John. Uh, Melbourne. Wow. Look, I'm right in the thick of it down here. Um, not mm. in one of the hot spots, but we've all been locked down. And mm. um, uh, so, look, it, it is what it is. And we'll continue to be resilient as Melburnians and uh, really appreciate your, uh, your call today so um uh, well mate i know it must be uh, very difficult for you it's difficult for everyone of course but yeah. very difficult for you because you are such a gregarious uh guy and yeah. you love being out and about uh, the emperor of east ivanhoe so uh, um is has it been difficult for you to uh, as a guy like that who you know likes being out and about to, to lock yourself well, down it's, it sort of is um uh look i went down the shops just earlier on uh with my mask on um but there's that psychology. And by the way, by the way, Willie, you, yes, you take your mask. You can take your mask <laughs> off now. <laughs> and uh, of the bank. I, I mean, went... I, that's not your real face, is it? <laughs> it's, it's my now. This is this is my Zoom face. I've got a filter on that makes me look like oh. this. You know. Oh, hey, um, okay, right. The thing the thing about it is the psychology of avoiding people, isn't it? You know. Now yeah. I I can yeah. you know when I smile. You know, behind my mask, you can still smile with your eyes, and I do when I flash the peace sign and things like that. But it it, it ain't the same. It's not going to be the same for uh, a long time, if ever. Um, so you just uh, becomes the conditioned reflex, I suppose. You know, I leave I leave my apartment. Um, you know, wallet, phone, keys, yeah. sanitizer, mask. So you just add those two extra things on at the end, and then you know I don't let my guard down for a second because I'm in that age group. You know, 42, 43. And yeah. um, so, but let's, you know, this show is called On the Other Side and, and yeah. this is what it's about. It's about coming out the other side. So let's look back to happier times uh, when you took a Prestige Jayco, uh, what was it, an RV or yes. a camper van? No, 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 23 no, no. foot of the, the, con, the Conquest. Conquest, correct. Beautiful vehicle to drive. Uh, five and a bit years ago, uh, courtesy of our very good friends at Prestige, Jake O, John and Joan Spence, we, Howard and I, who was then only, um, he was only 14, yeah. took off to the Byron Bay Blues and Roots Festival. And of course, our first port of call was Tarthra Beachside. Yeah. And yeah. John and Joan... And John and Joan were there, and uh, John was helping me reverse the conquest into the onto the beautiful solid slab with the ensuite bathroom. And he said, "Suck, suck, no, don't, no, no, don't." Anyway, so um, the bike rack needed a bit of repair on the back, but anyway, that was the only <laughs> incident. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that this is the first time that Wilbur and John have spoken since then. <laughs> it, it, it went from Tarthra Beachside. Uh, the next day, which is a pretty big drive, actually. It's about 12 hours road trip yes. all the way to uh, Rawdon Island, I think they were yeah. on at the time. So you, you've always been a bit of a road animal, Willie. You love being on the road. You, you, you don't I mind do. a long drive, do you? Well, see, this, now you, you've, you've stumbled onto something here. With the, you know, you asked me how it affects me, like uh, socially and being gregarious. Um, on what day was the lockdown? I think uh, Wednesday was the lockdown here. Yeah, Wednesday, uh, I think, Wednesday yeah. midnight. On Tuesday, John I, uh, and Frank, I drove down to uh, uh, Colandina Beach Caravan Park yeah. and uh, saw my old friend Kate Steens. Oh, and uh, of course, you, you know, uh, uh, Bill and Joan, uh, you know, down there as well. And the reason I did that is that um, I wanted to get my push bike uh, out of Kate's garage and I left a couple of things down there and uh, for storage. And it was a, a beautiful day. And uh, I mean, but just not being able to do a road trip, Frank, you know, there you go. I, yeah. mean, I can. 
Did that remind yeah. you of the bike rack on the uh, motorhome or the concrete? <laughs> <laughs> it sort of did. <laughs> In fact, was it the same bike? Yeah, it was the same bike. The same bike with the one with the buckled wheel. <laughs> And, um, and while you were while while you were there while you were there picking up the bike, did you also pick up your ego and self esteem, which I believe you left down there as well? <laughs> uh, look, it was a lovely visit, but uh, but um, but just even just coming down the uh, you know the Geelong Road, and you've got the Yu Yangs on the right there, and you know, uh, it's considered a, a great byproduct of what Frank and I have done with our lives, which is you know. Mm. We've done lots of things, but touring with rock and roll bands, um, one of the one of the great road, some of the great road trips I've had with with Frankie J. You know, remember we, we did that lovely one down from um, the Gold Coast uh, down to Port Macquarie, and we went all the yep. back ways through Grafton, and uh, you, you gave me the guided tour of um, your old stomping ground. Where's that on the you know the Central Coast? What was that again? Foster. Foster, a bit north of the Central Coast. Oh, and then, and then of course, uh, Terrigal and all those of it. But, Willie, we've always liked, uh, we've often remarked when we're driving on those big drives, as you say, about the big sky country. Big and sky where country. you went on your trip, there was, there's big skies up there, but it's also big river country going up there through the North Coast. Yeah. Oh, Wonderful rivers. Uh, the McLean, you know, um, uh, just outside uh, the Taree there. It sort of starts around about Taree, doesn't it? You know, it, and does, it does, it does. And it goes further up north. Uh, all the way to the border, virtually all the way to the Tweed Valley, but a very, I, very fertile country. Mm -hmm. Can I just tell you something coming out the other side, Johnny Spence? Uh, don't be surprised to see me on your doorstep down there at uh, Prestige Jayco, please. And um, another conquest you know. coming on, sorry. <laughs> well, look. Out the other side, I'll see you out the other side. Just remember, all bad things must pass. The other side, we'll see you out the other side, and we'll kick this COVID 19 in the ass. <laughs>